Welcome to the MVP. Man, it's new podcast, baby. You heard we back again. To give you a podcast only we can give you what's happening with y'all. What's up with it? That much, oh, man. Nice. You know what I'm saying? See, we joined by Cody. We joined by Book. What yeah. it do? What's happening, man? I'm, I'm feeling good today. Feeling good. Uh, what, got you feel, what got you feeling good? I am less than three more work days away from going to my cruise, leaving their ass at work without me. That's what I'm excited about. You know what I'm talking about? I'm excited for niggas going to work and I'm not going to be there. That's what I'm excited about. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to Cody a little bit beforehand. Everybody know I'm the president of the union and shit like that. We have a meeting tomorrow. Um, so when I go into the meeting, I'm going to have to pull out a big red. You know what I'm talking about? Like my office hours are between nine and five. Stop <laughs> calling my ass when I'm not at work. You know what I'm talking about? I, I really don't care like that to be talking to everybody when I'm not at work. It just it, it is what it is. Also, I'm gonna let them know uh, when I'm gone. I need to give them some more numbers to other people to call instead of me. I can't do shit for you in Puerto Rico. I can't Talk do shit, shit for you in Dominican Republic. Talk Don't your call shit. My ass. What's up? Talk your shit, brother. You know, what I'm I just want to make sure, just in case they listen to this, because a couple of them do. Don't call mm. my ass. <laughs> I cannot help you. No, well, I, I'm not bringing shit from the union. I'm not Googling shit from uh, all the way on the boat. You're on your own. Y'all ain't got Wi Fi out there? Yeah, we got, oh, I got a premium Wi Fi pa- package too, but it won't be looking up none of that shit. I can tell you right now. <laughs> they can look that shit up themselves. I'm not helping out a motherfucker while I'm on my, well, until I get back. You know what I'm saying? I'm big red, bitch. My office hours between 9 and 5 30 because I get off at 5 30. 9 and 5 30. Bring your grievance in. <laughs> if, you, if you don't come between 9 and 5 30, I don't want to hear about this shit no more. You hear me? Gotcha, and, brother. And I got to gotcha. be there. You know what I'm saying? That's anyway, tough. That's tough. I, I know it's, it sounds like I'm fussing, but um, it, it's goodness too. Um, fellas, Cody, man, we ain't heard from you in a little minute, man. What's going on with you, big dog? I know you came at the last end of the podcast, but you ain't really say nothing, but hey, uh what's going on with you this week man man just a bunch of work man bunch of work i'm sitting here now trying to do some work trying to multitask man got some uh big deals closing with the company and whatnot can't be messing up you know what i'm saying got a triple check and quadruple check and comb through everything i can man so i'm busy with that little man and um little man doing vacation bible school man this joke is so expensive bro that's the only thing he's doing is some of this free well, no, it ain't even free because I got to get a lady ten dollars for a damn shirt uh, tomorrow. <laughs> and then they talking about bring a dollar for it every day. I guess they trying to make them give ties. I mean, that should be optional. <laughs> that should be optional, but uh-huh. I got to got to do that too. So it's gonna cost me fourteen dollars. Now, not to mention, I had to pack his lunch. So today mm-hmm. I had to go get his lunch. So we can factor in another ten dollars. That's a good twenty four dollars that I'm paying to send him to church. <laughs> So like I, I was getting to, uh, I got them signed up for. They got three on three basketball, bro. Like that's an organized joint. Three on three, they got it right up here. Yeah, don't put him in no three on three, man. I put. He's already done five on five. You know what I'm saying? But uh, they ain't got five on five again, man. Three on three. No, 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 no. The five on five is at the YMCA, and I don't like the YMCA. Well, I got my damn YMCA. <laughs> you got it. All <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm saying I, I, I coach for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't. I don't like the YMCA close, the closest one to us because I don't like the way they got the league going, man. So I'm going to have to put them in something else. But all they got this summer, which is the same thing he did his football through, which is uh, Under Armour. You know what I'm saying? Under Armour do it or whatever. And so they got a three-on-three basketball joint that I never heard of. But I signed him up for that because it's going to be this summer. So I'm going to see what that's going to be like. So well, I, got, I had to pay for that. Then he got it might, another. It might be good because there ain't no, ain't no big men no more. So you know what I'm talking about? They just doing what the NBA trying to do, cancel out the big men. So it yeah. is, everybody play on the perimeter, so that might be good. That'd yeah, be, hey, I'm really hoping it'll be good, man. I'm, I hope he enjoy it. They talking about he wants some steps. I looked them shits up for his side. Them shits $130, bro. This dude is eight years old. $130? Man, Cody, you be sounding like Carl Winslow. You know what I'm talking about, man? Pay that boy. Get that boy some step courage, man. Whoa, that's crazy. Bro. $130, eight years old, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like usually when I get him expensive shoes, it's like Christmas or something like that. You know, that's when I'm getting him the joy <clears> and stuff <throat> like that. He's just getting some for a basketball season. Probably gonna grow you ever, out of him. You ever heard uh the MVP speeches? 
Have I ever heard them? Yeah, they think mm -hmm. the mom, not the dad. I hear that. Mm -hmm. That's what you're talking about? Well, if you're doing everything, they're going to thank you. In all these <laughs> kids' lives that have been presented MVP awards, the daddy wasn't there. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So in this case, you are present. And what they always say, you know, I remember mom would always sacrifice and, you know, she needed new work shoes, but instead she got me the Steph Curry's. So I can go out there and live my dream. Be that nigga, man. Be that nigga. Be the, be the one on the podium. Right after yeah. God is you, man. Be that nigga. Oh, I, don't, don't not get the Steph Curry with the shot. You know, because Steph you be like John right Moran, dad. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? I'm looking like Ursher. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Like, Bro, come on, man. Yeah, get, 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 get. I ain't heard that brother say nothing, one thing about his mama. And I know he loves his mama, but I don't see his mama there. Nah, I see yeah. daddy hitting the gritty. Yeah. I see his daughter hitting the gritty. I don't see mama hitting the gritty. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, that's all. That's all. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm okay. Just saying. Hey, man, you gave me the motivation. <laughs> you gave me the motivation I needed, man. I'm going to order, order them joints tonight, man. I'm going to have to sit on over, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and do that for them. <laughs> yeah, them shit, man. Well, yeah. you, you know we got we need the weekly update, man. What's happening with you, Big Dog? Oh, we on me? Yeah, we on you. Got to hear it. I know you got something in the tank. Oh, man. All right. So, Pete, y'all. Um, ha. Huh. All right. So, man, my, my light dog and I'm crispy to the motherfucker dog. Oh, fresh Cody. Niggas laying up on cream. And, oh! Yo. So, I'm color scheming, y'all, if y'all don't know. You know what I'm saying? I got the blue, green, turquoise uh, circle ring going right now to match my Mariners hat. I'm going to be in costume every fucking time. But anyway, <laughs> just, just outfit-wise, not personality. So, mm -hmm. um, check, man. So, um, this past week, after we recorded, like, there is a uh, fruit fly infestation in this damn apartment. And I say in this apartment, I mean the whole complex. I'm mm -hmm. talking all floors, all rooms. Nobody's excluded. Mm -hmm. Now, the crazy thing about this is I have been seeing these motherfuckers like two or three at a time. Okay, I ain't thinking nothing of it because I bring bananas from the defect so I can make them smoothies. Mm -hmm. So if it's a fruit fly, of course, you're, dr you're drawn and attracted to the fruit. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. One in the same comes with the game. But then I didn't have no bananas, and I was still seeing these hoes. So I'm like, yo, is Ray? Because I know the nigga name. Is Ray <laughs> leaving the doors open? Is he opening up windows? How are these motherfuckers getting up in here? Mm -hmm. Right? So I call housing one day because the AC always goes out. Two, they building a fucking restaurant right in front of our goddamn building, literally connected to our building. I'm like, brother, that's safety concern right there. You got nothing but the Americans in this motherfucker. Now mm -hmm. you're going to stop the Kuwaitis and, and the Egyptians and the Israelites and, 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 and the, the Eastern. Everybody going to know where we posted up. The niggas know where we at now, but now you just make it readily accessible, connecting us to the goddamn building. All right? Mm -hmm. Fine. I call housing about that. You know, stress my concerns to him. Hey, man, I don't feel comfortable. Right? So he was, oh, man, you know, it's going to be all right, you know, da, da, da. And he was like, you know, it's just a lot of stuff going on with the building, you know, you know, from the trash chute not working right. When I say the trash chute don't work right, y'all, there's only one trash chute, and it's on my side of the building. That means even if you live on the other end of the hall, you got to walk your dumb ass all the way down with your trash. Maybe you leaking juice all over the floor. Too. Like, let's, let's be real. You know what I'm saying? So if you got a punch of bag, you just spilling shit while you trotting your happy ass down here, okay? That ain't going to affect you. Them bugs is going to come to me. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to walk They're not gonna walk the green mile. They're going to knock on my door, okay? Let's be real. But with the trash chute, the trash chute is always broken. Like, you got to literally got to break the bin just so you can fit your bag in, okay? That's that's not cool, all right? I've, I've done it. I've had no choice. You know what I'm saying? But however... Some people are so lazy, they don't close the bin, all right? Therefore, the aroma of trash just, uh, you know, matriculates throughout the whole goddamn stairwell. And guess what? If I said it's on my side, <laughs> guess where the smell is coming to? In your my house. house. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I'm just like, boy, this shit here, man, I, I can't do it. So he's talking about that. He's talking about how the AC don't never work, which is true. I call in a work order every two fucking days because my room is hotter than Hades. Three, he then says himself, yeah, man, we got a fruit fly infestation. Yeah, we know all about it. And I'm like, oh, y'all know about it. And y'all niggas ain't doing nothing? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all niggas is awesome. Man, this is a brand new fucking building. Okay. Mm-hmm. Even though I could sit on the toilet, wash my lower torso, and brush my teeth at the same time, this is still that's how small my bathroom is. I told y'all. <laughs> this is still a newer mm-hmm. building, and it mm-hmm. is a piece of shit. All right. Now, on my day off, this would be Friday. I woke up. I went in the kitchen, slid the door, went into the kitchen. I saw about 20 motherfuckers in there. I said, oh, what the fuck's going on? Where these hoes come from? I'm like, mm-hmm. when I went to sleep, I might have saw two and killed them hoes. Mm-hmm. Now there's 20. Where the fuck is they? Oh, no, nah, this, this ain't it. So all that morning, I was killing shit. All right? Mm-hmm. I left. Went and got a mannequin pedicure on my way home. I stopped and got some bug spray. Two cans, big cans. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was like, well, I'm about to seal all of this shit. I'm spraying the windows like it's Windex. I'm doing all that. All right. I go back. When I got here, I open up the door. There was like 20 mo. I said, these ain't the same 20 because I killed them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm like, where the fuck is they coming from? So I saw them niggas hanging out by the little, we got like these little water drains in the kitchens. Um, well, throughout this, you know, in the kitchens and bathrooms, stuff like that. I see them niggas matriculating from there, you know what I'm saying? Coming out, coming out like that. You know what I'm talking about? I'm like, oh, okay. So I pour bleach and hot water down there, boiling water. You know what I'm saying? To kind of like, I hit all, hit them all. You know what I'm talking about? Even in my bedroom, even though I know there ain't no problem over there. Like, nigga, I got a drain because if I, if I block one entry, you gonna find the next. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Let me cut that off too. So, Man, I just been I I'm not a dirty individual, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, sometimes I might not want to pick this up or that up, but as far as like filth, hell no. And like living with bugs, that's unacceptable, man. I didn't even have that problem in Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. Like, like? You ain't got no loaves of like Home Depot out there. Nah. I was about you to say you go buy one of them bug bombs and just set it off in the damn apartment and leave, but go to work. That's Dang, that should be housing. Housing supposed mm. to be doing this shit. They got a pest control vector team. Like, nigga, yeah. that's their job. Mm. What the fuck going on, man? Call them niggas, man. Tell them <laughs> niggas come through and spray this bitch, man. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what's going on, bro. Get the fuck out. Get, get this shit, man. <laughs> I just killed one. Y'all, well, like I said, we mm. wasn't recording, but I the nigga literally landed on my laptop screen. <laughs> I had to get that hoe. I mm-hmm. slapped shit out of it. I'd rather break my laptop than to not get that fucking fruit fly. That's how serious this is. Like, I'd rather, man, get the hell out of here. I shouldn't be feeling like this to where I'm ready to break something that's $1,000 to kill one goddamn insect. <laughs> that don't make no sense, man. Mm-hmm. At all. At all. And they so disrespectful. I, I I don't know if it's just like the ones out here. I, I You know, I'm not at home enough to know that. Um, do these motherfuckers just like fly up in your face and like punch you and then dip off? Man, fruit flies. That's just fruit flies, man. Like okay, got, I thought like, it was just me. Like you remember we, we went to no respect, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings at one time and they had fruit flies in that motherfucker. Mm. And I, I wasn't feeling it. I was like, I, I can't do this. We we end up going somewhere else, but I was like, I can't eat up in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was with y'all. I was with yeah, y'all at that time. Like, I can't do it. Um, uh, the motherfuckers everywhere. And that's what they do. Yeah, they just it. buzz, they just annoying, you know what I'm talking about. And then if you got yeah. liquor, you leave that shit out, man. Motherfuckers be all the liquor. They probably was all in their liquor and stuff like that. So yeah. uh, if I see them, I, I, I get freaked out. I, I don't like, I think about like holy moly's donut shop. I got to get out <laughs> uh, I'm not eating shit enough. <laughs> man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So. Get you a bomb, nigga, and just throw that shit in your apartment and tell Ray, tell Ray two seconds before you throw it. Like, nigga, get out. Nigga. <laughs> Man, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I told Ray we need a maid. That nigga said, for what? I'm like, bro, do you see what I see? Nigga, this shit filthy. What you talking about? For what? He one of them niggas that wipe, but don't clean. You feel what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> my dude, what is you doing, man? Like, this kitchen dirty. Like, all that morning, too? I'm in there cleaning up after him. I'm not in the kitchen like that. I, I literally have one section, which is right by the door. There's my blender. That is it. I'm in there. I use my blender. I don't spill shit. I dispose of my trash. I wash my shit and I put it back. That's that's all I do in the kitchen. This mm-hmm. nigga uses the kitchen like a kitchen. He cooking and they're acting like he Cody or something. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Making pineapple, pineapple, uh, pineapple, 
Explosion, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Like, bro, what is you doing, man? Like, nigga, you just worked a 12 hour shift. Why you got so much energy? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, bro, you you got crumbs and, and shit in the middle of the oh man, it's just like, bro, I don't, I don't like this. And like the floors, they pick up like all type of dirt anyway. Mm-hmm. I don't walk in the house with my sneakers. Obviously, I have I take my stuff off and then I transfer into my house slides. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just seeing foot tracks all over the place and they don't match none of my stuff. All I'm just, you got to live by yourself. Yeah, yeah, we need a maid, man, because I am not. <laughs> I don't like walking in your dirty steps. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, bro, it's either you going to clean? If you clean, we good. If not, brother, we need to mm-hmm. yeah, We need to get. I don't made up my mind. We need a maid. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> and that's nothing, man. Oh, man. Man, let's get into the podcast, man. I'm gonna tell the people real quick. I got an update. Got an update for the for the LA vlog. It uh-huh. is done. Aha, uh-huh. it is. You saw the first draft. I, I added a little something. I added. Uh, oh, you remixed it? Song. Yeah, just just real quick. It was not much. You pretty much okay. Seen it. But I right. added some more in there. And took out some. LA vlog okay. is done. So I've been having a couple people ask me, "Yo, when you gonna put that out, man?" I told y'all it was it took me a little while for the motivation, but it is mm-hmm. done. It is complete. I'm happy about it. I thought I thought it came out pretty well myself. Um, the motivation was we're not gonna be here next week. That's the motivation. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, definitely some, that's definitely some good motivation. <laughs> this come out the 19th. So the following week, the 26th, that's when the LA yeah. ball will drop. Yeah. Um on the head top, upon the head top. So you guys have something to look at. Yep. Um, and it's done. I'm just happy it's done. Yeah. If I, I I'm almost Steven Spielberg type shit. <laughs> I'm lying. I mean, I don't want I don't want to juice it up that much. Hey, hey, I did the best I could do. You know what I'm saying? That's all, that's all I can do. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. that will be out next week, the following week. Um, sure. I believe this is Father's Day as well. It is. It is. So, Happy Father's Day to me. You know what I'm talking about? Happy Father's Day to niggas like me. Um, mm-hmm. Cody, there you go. Black your screen out. You know what I'm saying? This, this is my time to chime. Um, I believe um, I've been a father for a little while, over 13 years now. And I've been doing the best I can. You know what I'm talking about? And every day is a, every day is, is a blessing. Some days is a struggle because they always want to ask for something. But for the most part, it's a blessing. You know what I'm talking about? Uh but I just want to thank all the fathers out there that's handling their business. You know what I'm saying? That's in their kids' life. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to you. Especially the ones buying them Steph Curry's whenever they're only eight years old and it costs $130. Oh, they're phenomenal fathers right there. Them mm. elite dads. Boy, them the elite daddies. You know what I'm talking right. about? You be all right. That, he a boy. His foot going to get big as hell by the time he's in high school. Uh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, we going to... um. We got a uh, DJ Envy's um, car show that's gonna be on Father's Day. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you gonna so there? Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. We'll be out there, and it's no. Juneteenth. Juneteenth is um, yeah, is that Sunday? But they celebrating on that Monday. Yeah, the holiday. The yeah. holiday. Yeah. The holiday is the twentieth, but um, it's, it's celebrating it today. They but, giving y'all. Yeah. They giving y'all uh, Juneteenth off. Well, yeah. good, good. Because yep. I know a lot of com- the private companies ain't doing it. The government, yep. right, they got to pretty much. Yeah, we got we got Juneteenth off. We celebrating on June twentieth, um, and I'm be on the cruise anyway, so it don't matter. You know what I'm talking well, about? Mean, get that day back. Sure. Huh? You ain't got you ain't to use you ain't got to use your vacation. Exactly. For that day. Matter of fact, I was my day off is that day, so I get the day before, which is Saturday. So mm-hmm. I'll be I would have been off Saturday and then Monday Sunday. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. So they got they, I ain't got to use no leave for all that. That's good because I ain't got no leave anyway. Leave them. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't get, I ain't gonna get paid for half of this damn trip anyway. So hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I use all my leave. You know what I'm talking about? And it's only June, nigga. I still got six more months to go. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, on to this man. I, I, I had a couple people, man. I think um, book referenced it in the um, group. Me, um, Kevin Gates dropped the song. Um, Super general. general. Yeah, yes, Super general. And, okay. A couple of lines stood out that was that was um, a little shocking to a lot of people. Um, I don't have the quote. You go listen to it yourself. But it's pretty much he talked about um, Nicki Minaj. Somebody he, he need to 
he need to get with her. Yeah. He talk, he, you know what I'm saying? He talked about Ruby Rose. He had to, uh, for he people who don't know who Ruby Rose is, I've I've mentioned her numerous <laughs> times. I've put videos in the group chats numerous times mm. before she became this uh phenomenon that she is today. <laughs> um I like her boy. Yeah, Ruby she, Rose is, is a porn star, if y'all don't know. No, she not. She's porn. She's definitely she's basically she's not a porn star. She started off as a video woman, uh like just being um a video model. And I don't, she, don't don't she got don't she do OnlyFans stuff? She ain't doing nothing on OnlyFans. Then man. I apologize. I thought she was I've seen her on Reddit. I've seen the Reddits. Uh, she ain't busting nothing over. Okay, then I apologize. I don't want to say that. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. Yeah. Thank she you. Thank nothing. you for correcting me. Um yeah. and the last one that the people had a lot of a lot of um backlash on. There you go again. <laughs> yeah. the, the one people had a lot of backlash on was him talking about uh wanting to give Beyonce that thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Um I just want to know what y'all man is 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 Kevin Gates man out of bounds. <clears throat> Especially for two of them women married. Married. You know yeah. I don't I don't know how what situation Ruby Rose in, but I know Nicki Minaj and Beyonce married. Oh, Ruby um, Rose like that. She uh she tweeted out uh, or IG that she's like Kevin Gates nasty, lol. <laughs> yeah. I be thinking the same thing though, Ruby Rose. <laughs> 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 mm. If y'all niggas ever seen her videos, like god damn, she make nigga horny. <laughs> <laughs> well, she just nice, man. She nice, dog. And she she all regular. You know what I'm saying? It's all homegrown. Like, ain't no ain't no additives. You know what I'm talking about? Like that. Ain't no preservatives. Like if it say sugar, it's pure. You know what I'm talking about? It ain't fructose. Oh, she not oh Lord, she nice. She got a new video out called Wifey. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what, like, I don't understand how that song. Matches the video because she had a car wash. Like, oh my god! So she is saying, kind of like, kind of like P Valley, P Valley, uh, episode, episode one out of uh, in season two, they do a car wash. It's one of those. I haven't watched it yet, man. You haven't watched Wait, it I, yet. I'm not gonna lie, man. It's, it's, I, I'm not, I'm not ready to see some of that stuff that was going on in season one again just yet, man. I don't know, man. I ain't you're ready. good in season. You're, you're good in episode one. That okay. I know. I've only seen they, episode one, so they was, hey, when I was thinking about, it, I was like, damn, it's going a little hard on season one. Like, man, you're, I don't know, but yeah. story was good. I'm, I'm gonna still give it a chance. I, I, I ain't ready to. I know. I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> my shit, though. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about song, little murder. Man. You know what I'm talking about? Little murder. Yeah, yeah, that song. I, I, I give him a song. That's about it. I don't condone anything else. But you, you know what I'm saying? You did a great job, my brother. Yo, yo, yeah. acting is top that notch. Nigga I ain't gonna lie to you. If he's that top notch. Yeah, yeah. If, if he's not like that, he deserves the Oscar. Help, 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 Hey, but how y'all feel, man? But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how um, you feel, man? Was he out of bounds? What's up, man? Well, like I said, with Ruby Rose, no, because she's single and she about that life. She, she, she nasty like that. She be talking like that in other videos, and you know what I'm talking about. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sure she's just happy. Like, hey, it's working. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I like Kevin Gates though, man. Like individually, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I, I, I like that nigga, man. Like, if you ever just sit there and listen to the nigga speak. Like that nigga is um real grounded, is what I say. You know what I'm saying? He's he's not your typical uh typical rapper, as you, you know what I'm saying. Like if you just looked at him, you would think that the boy ain't smart. You know what I'm saying? Like people uh, assess us by our exterior, you know, the tattoos, the grill, and stuff like that. Like people just get the assuming that we ain't, you know what I mean? Like we don't have it. But um, the brother's very intellectual. Um I do not agree with him mentioning married women um, at all. Uh, that part, I don't mind. Um, I didn't mind him mentioning Megan Good because she's no longer married. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's fair game. But when you start bringing in spouses and stuff like that, like you got to have some type of respect because you, if your situation was still your situation, you wouldn't have felt you know what I'm saying? Cool with anybody talking about your missus. You know what I'm saying? 
you would have wanted to hop out left field on the nigga. You know what I mean? Like have that same type of respect and um, mind thoughts, you know, those that, that thought process when addressing other people's wives. You know what I'm saying? No matter how you're doing it. Um, there's a way that you can um, give respect to a situation, you know, a marriage situation. But don't just be talking about you want to uh, launch a missile up in they pussy. You know what I'm talking about? Like that, that's a little bit much, bro, for the for the married for the married ones. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Like, bro, you you can't be talking that loose and reckless, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, nigga said, hey, I'm gonna launch a missile. Like, I'm on my nigga. What is you doing? So, um, you know, especially with Beyonce, man. Like, um, Nikki's man don't rap. Uh, they say he in the street shit. Um. And I'm not saying that's what that would be, anything like that. But um, like we know one of the slickest niggas to ever bless a vocal booth is Hove. You know what I'm saying? That nigga has ended many a careers. You know what I'm saying? Um, am I for it? Yes, I would love to hear the conversation. I'm not gonna lie, mm. but you know, Jay ain't just about to put your name in it. He just gonna say something slick. Like, yeah, um, all it took was one shot. I sent him through heaven gates. He's going to say something crazy. Mm. It's, it's a sublim. I like that. I should write that down. What, what you trying you try to write rhymes for Jay-Z? Huh? He to, I, I knew he was going to say like that, I'm too. sorry, Hove. I did not hey, mean to let them hey, know that I ghost wrote nah, for you. I apologize. You got a ghost write for Hove, I apologize. <laughs> I, apologize. I, know, I know you paid me handsomely to keep it together, brother. I didn't say nothing. I, I apologize. I apologize. Cheer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that's that's kind of like where I where, where my take is on it, man. Mm-hmm. Like everything else is fair game, but you know, leave, leave the actual married, you know, um, artists and women out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's just a bit much for me. You know what I'm Cody, how you feel, man? Nah, I agree with everything the book said, man. But um, I think uh, I've been hearing a lot of a lot of things. Like he put that song out because him and Drika broke up, and now he just. Feeling a certain type of way or something. Y'all heard the same thing? Yeah, that's what yeah. I heard. And I heard yeah. that Drika cheated on him, I guess, with the trainer. I heard it was a woman, though. Okay. The, trainer, the trainer's a woman, though. Yeah. yeah. So You know what? Said- Thank you for clarifying that. Because when he said, you know, the, the you know, the, per- the, you know, the personal trainer or whatever invaded my personal space, mm-hmm. I didn't know what he meant by that. He's mm-hmm. talking, he talking about his old lady, but. The, okay. The problem- no, I, like, at first, I thought, like, you know, something might have happened. Mm. like he got assaulted you know what i'm saying because he mm. said my personal space and i was thinking like oh man they got you kevin you know what i mean the booty yeah. bandits that's what i thought i'm not i'm not even joking <laughs> like when he said that i didn't know that the the trainer was a female though so okay that yeah. makes perfect sense now because he, he lost me then i was just like okay i'm gonna I'm look past that i'm gonna look past that the, look the past thing that. i guess i had a little issue with it seemed like that i've heard him talk before no, i don't before think he's the type and I've heard plenty of interviews him talking. It sounded like he was already always doing his thing. So I thought they had like a, a arrangement. Uh, like open that. relationship. Nah, like yeah. nah open his marriage. thing, what he was saying is that, you know, they take them down together. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I would hear him uh, say. You know what I mean? Like, even in songs and stuff, he talked like okay. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking this one of those, she crept out and went on an old solo dolo mission on him. And he felt a certain type of way. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's what I'm thinking it is because I he made it seem like they they got down like that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like they would just take them down together. So I don't know, man. I don't know, but boy, they gonna end up back together though, man. They gonna end up back together. But him putting out that song like that, man. I, like I said, it, it, it's it's all cool, you know. People single and stuff, man. But when you start start messing with people, uh, people's wives and even if it's girlfriends and stuff like that, man, uh, you you don't know how how they gonna react to that, man. They mm-hmm. gonna never lie. Yeah, my my whole thing is yeah. Don't don't bring in especially people. I guess I listened to Kevin Gates inter, in, in, Kevin Gates interviews for a long time, man. He he's real big on energy and all that kind of stuff. I'm like yes. that's that's not positive energy. That's not positive positivity. Uh, even when he rap, he talk about being a Muslim and stuff like that. He he, he got a real um almost like a he, he has some Islamic bars in there. Exactly. He he tries to throw that in there as well as throw in the ignorant stuff, kind of like a Tupac ish type thing, like Tupac used to do mm-hmm. a lot. Um, and I just didn't think that was I just didn't think it was called for. It took it took away from the message. Ain't nobody said nothing about none of the 
Islamic stuff you talking about. Everybody talking about yeah. you talking about fucking Beyonce. <clears throat> and that ain't what you, that ain't that ain't the right way. And he, I think he yeah. know it. Like, come on, man. This ain't the um dreams. Uh, this is this ain't notorious B.I.G. You know, dreams mm-hmm. of fucking R and B chick. Yeah, um, and then this isn't like uh Nicki Minaj's rendition either, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like there was no disrespectful, no, no slander like that, nothing crazy, you know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about? Like I just mm, it yeah. was just a little bit too aggressive. Yeah, man, me. how he was talking oh, about it. yeah, he yeah, he yeah, a little bit too aggressive. <laughs> that's, that's all man. Anybody Anything else heard cool? that verse, man? Yo, go to um what is it, super general? Go listen mm-hmm. to that. It's mm-hmm. like three minutes long, two, three minutes long. It ain't that long. Just check it out. Mm-hmm. See what he's talking about. When he get to that, when he get to that talking about them. I'm like, man, it's just that's a little bit overboard. Yeah, I was good I'll up be, until then. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, he was getting it. It, mm-hmm. it wasn't it, that song wasn't called for. It's like you needed some more yeah. bars, so let me just throw in some about yeah. somebody doing it. Like you could have. They gonna talk about. They gonna that. talk about me, little Woody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, Kevin. I, I I look at Kevin Gates stuff, man. I I I, I follow him on the regular. Yeah, I like his interviews. If you ever hear him talk, he intellectual. You can tell he reads a lot, stuff like that. Yes, he does. I just didn't think that was a. I, I didn't think that was um, that showed people who he really is from what I see on these interviews and stuff. Having him talking, I just didn't yeah. think that was called for. It, it kind of take away from. The message and who he is. You can get a point across without doing that. It was like a cheap <clears throat> shot just so people listen to you. It yeah. Like, it like if somebody like, played a snippet, yeah, that yeah. would be the one to make everybody want to yeah. listen to the whole thing. You know what I mean? It was a little clout chasey to me. That's that's yeah. how I felt. It was like it, yeah. it, 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 it wasn't called for. It didn't need that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Well, see, but I shout think out, it shout out to Ruby Rose again. One more, one more time. <laughs> I think and I'm did, sorry again, man. Ruby Rose. I did, uh, I'm sorry for calling you. Yeah. Boy. He, he did that on purpose. <laughs> he did that on purpose, though. You know what I'm saying? Like he he trying to just stir up shit because he's feeling a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. I, I think it was out of emotion. Like the song don't sound bad. I ain't gonna lie. Don't Not at all. Bad. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think he just in his emotions, man. So he trying hey. to stir up. He trying to stir up some shit. That's all. Y'all would know better than me. Maybe who the dude he talking about? He was talking about you know they had a falling out. Um and your your album flop. Like, um, I don't know who he's talking about. I, I don't I don't know who he's talking about about that. But I mean, he 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 said that um I think Money Bag Yo's cousin told him some lied on him or something like he he yeah that. I got that he just said a lot of stuff. He just said a lot of stuff about um just clear that type shit. You kind of you kind of don't say like from what I'm hearing. It's I don't know. It seemed like Drake hurt his heart real bad, and he just came out there and said everything. Every interview he's ever been in. She's the reason why he's at the point he's at. She was the leader of his companies and all this stuff. She did all this stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I even went to go look up her Instagram and she ain't got nothing on there. I think she took her shit down. It's like, <laughs> that's your baby mom's. That's your, what you call it? Why put her out there? Even though she 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 made you mad, she fucked up. Yeah. But that's kind of the reason why I would never, I, I feel like I wouldn't, want to have a threesome with my wife like that because you introduce that stuff and then she love it more than you loving the shit now you can't be mad when hey yeah when she it happens on the side what's around give me some more yeah. hey <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i don't know i just feel like once you introduce certain things you can't be mad when stuff happens like that i mean you got you and i almost would feel better that it was with a woman <laughs> instead of a man i mean i'm like hey okay thank you so, uh, i i yeah. I could have, I could have took it better. I, nah, I wouldn't have went as far as Kevin Gates went. He he went a little overboard uh, to me. Yeah, but you can't tell a man how to react when he is feeling. True, true. if it was a dude, it wouldn't have been no song. Gates would have been Gates would have been locked <laughs> up. Been in jail. <laughs> Gates <laughs> would have been gone, boy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Say, hey, it's just a song because it was a female. Shoot. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. That nigga, he seemed like he's going through a lot, man. Ho- hopefully, you know <clears> hopefully he get his balance back, man. You get your stuff back in, in order, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a fan. Um, I don't want to make it seem like I ain't no fan. I just think uh, he, I think, I kind of think he knows, but in his heart, he knew he could have did something better than that. Yeah. Like I said, um, I got a video for y'all. It's like a minute. I want to see how what y'all opinion is on that. It's been floating around Instagram. I want y'all to take a second, view everything, pay attention, and just let me know how you feel about it. Dean. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. 
membership. Okay. Just kind of want to see how y'all. It, it started off. She talked about um the the trainer was being pervy, and she wasn't gonna take no disrespect. Pretty much, you know what I'm talking about. I want to see just off this initial. I kind of want to see how y'all feel about what y'all just seen right there. I don't know, bro. Like that's, I think I don't know if he was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if he was like doing doing it like on purpose. Or I, let me start. Let me start because y'all. Let me get let y'all get y'all mind together. Let me let me start. Real, just my real mind quick. already there. I just didn't okay. want to go first. Go okay, you didn't want to go first. I go first then. Um, because I know y'all just seen it. It's a little unfair to me without letting y'all get y'all stuff together. Um. I felt like can't nobody look at you. That nigga ain't say nothing to you. <laughs> like he just they just turned over there, looked over there, and then you started you the one being disrespectful, kind of. Is it, it, some is there a problem? I, I didn't I didn't like that. Like they didn't do nothing to you. They just looked at you. You was the one taking your shirt off, all slow and shit. Like you was looking, you wanted attention. That's what it felt like. No, no, okay. Let me. That's what it me, felt like. Let me say this. Let me. He say set this. up the camera to look at him. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I don't know, but let me say this though. Uh-huh. I, I remember uh, when I when I was going to the gym frequently, mm-hmm. out in um, let's see, where this was uh, when we were staying in Katy. Um, it was literally a woman that was working out. I'm talking about. She had on, literally, she had on underwear and a bra. Mm-hmm. They matching everything, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But she had on underwear mm-hmm. and a bra mm-hmm. and was working out. And everybody was just, you know, looking like crazy. Like, who works out in underwear and a bra? And it literally was, it wasn't like no, no, the training thing. Like, it what, what, what do you call them joints um, that they wear? Sports bra. It wasn't no sports bra. It wasn't none of that. It was a regular bra. Like, you could see the wire. <laughs> you could see the wire, bro. And then she had on some real, like, some, 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 some draws, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> working out. So she was looking for attention, right? Mm-hmm. Now in this instance, I think maybe she set up the uh she probably set up the the phone just so she can actually, you know what I'm saying, capture the moment because it probably didn't happen before. You know what I'm saying? Cuz I don't think people are just randomly or unless she was just doing her sets, and you know how people record Technique, themselves when they're doing yeah. their sets and just happen to see, you know, buddy sitting there looking like that because it is it is some some stalkerish dudes in there. You can see them like they be drooling while they lifting weights, bro. Like mm-hmm. it that really do happen. They'd be sitting there oh, staring. No, I, I agree. Mm-hmm. But I think it, I could have been more sympathetic to you <clears throat> if you would have waited and let something happen. What else? What is going to happen? He just kept staring, though. Why? He just, I, they just looked, they just glanced over there. I, we, I, I, we, I, I, we, we've been places and you're like, dog, look at that. Like, I hit you, like, man, you got, I don't want to pass up, but I don't want to be disrespectful either. But you got to see this because you ain't gonna believe it. Once I walk past, we walk past this, and you'd be like, "Damn, why you ain't tell me?" That's why I, we did that before, man. Ain't nobody trying to be pervy. I'm not talking to the broad after that, but like, hey, look at that. That's it. I glanced over that. Damn. Okay, keep it moving. Call me off guard. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, that's an attractive woman. Oh man, goodness. Okay, got you. What I what this is what I want to make known for everybody. Good. All right. This this is a sidebar before I get into the whole, you know, the the this is the appetizer, the little caveat. Um niggas don't be looking for y'all when we out amongst the gang. Okay. We might happen to notice accidentally. 
and then that's when we be like, oh damn, look at that. Like we not out there. We not <laughs> we not searching for bad motherfuckers. You know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about? Especially when we're at the stages that we are in our lives. You know what I mean? Like that ain't what we doing. We ain't on the prowl looking for little little young tenders and shit like that. Now in our twenties, you know what I'm saying? Like we we analyzing shit. Now nah, we don't need to be over there. They ain't over there. We can go that way. You know what I'm saying? Like we want to be in the mix, but the gym. Um, I don't want to say what I want to say, so I'm gonna say it anyway. She ain't that hot to be feeling herself uh, like that. That's how kind of how I was feeling. She oh, not. Uh, she she wasn't <laughs> like, girl. You feeling yourself just a tad bit too much. Now I don't know, like the guy. Obviously, she might have had ass. I don't know, but I don't see this because he said, "Oh, damn." You know what I'm saying? But that was the if you're looking at it. It was wasn't the guy. trainer who said that. It's the nigga doing the reps yes. that said that shit. That then made the trainer turn his head. The trainer mm-hmm. wasn't even looking at you. So when you saw that the trainer made contact, my eye contact with you. Can I help you? Want something? You all sassy for no reason. You feeling yourself? You the one want the attention. I didn't catch all that. I didn't catch all that. Yeah, you, it you was in red. It said, "Oh damn!" And then well, they're trying to turn and look. Off he of just looked. He didn't do said. nothing else. <laughs> so I'm like, he didn't do shit. <laughs> he, he didn't take a step to him. He didn't do nothing. He just looked. She just got an attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Like man, hey, it's like who, to a who, point. who was that? Um, who was that? A football player? You like that? You like that? <laughs> the niggas after the game, like bro, what is you talking? I think that was Bar Scott. Mm-hmm. Like bro, what is you talking about, woman? Like come on now, come on, Shouty. Like you, just do a little bit better. Like you, well, you just you think you think it's gonna get to a point where you're gonna have to start working out with shades on? By that, uh, I mean. Shit, nigga, even even niggas who play poker wear shades, man. Like, what, what the difference is? You know what I'm talking? Walk in there with them Ray Bans, bro. These little ski glasses or whatever. You know what I mean? The the, safe, the rainbow reflector ones. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. man, yo, I think, and I'm not gonna say that she might not have been like stared on before, mm. but I highly doubt it was them. You know what I'm talking about? I, I don't like. I, I don't want maybe to make that I don't want Well, I'm going to I'm a just say, I'm going to just say, maybe it was the guy who actually says, oh, damn. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Maybe he's been a frequent violator, and this was like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm going to catch him just so I can show management or whomever. Mm-hmm. Now, the trainer has a trainer shirt on. It's, anybody that's a trainer, if you've gone to the gym, on their shirts somewhere, it says trainer on the back. Mm-hmm. Why are you acting like that to him? That's mm-hmm. what I didn't understand. You got that energy for the guy who's actually doing the sets? I ain't got no problem with that. Do you know this training on seen many of glutes? Way better shape than yours for you to be acting like that. This nigga see broads 50 million times a day. You know what I'm talking about? That's been in the gym. I'm not talking about her physique or anything like that. Like, But he sees women that are like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Every woman's body is different. I'm sure he's seen something that's probably made him be like, damn, but I got to remain professional. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Like, I just think that's that's unnecessary. That's unnecessary, especially when you are taking off your clothes. Like, if you don't want nobody, I'm not saying this, like, people should dress. I, dress how you want to dress. You know what I mean? But just know with dressing a certain way, certain attention comes. You know what I mean? Certain looks, certain stares, certain grumblings. That's all I'm saying. You don't want to be looked at, wear something looser. And I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to make it no man, woman type thing. And I'm not trying her, her to, wear, I mean, that. Like, if a guy's in the gym, take real. his shirt off. Women look at them. They, they look at them. Hey, it is what it is. You get looked at. You want My something? Thing, I, 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 I blame her I'm for having thinking. all that energy. She was all up in her chest. And then I, I blame yeah. him like, bro, you got to kick out too. Like, man, leave that LeBron alone, man. She's he talking fly, police. bro. She's she, talking fly. I'll be damn, you and my establishment talking reckless to me, thinking you running shit. Like, uh, uh, last time I checked, I had trainer in uh, laser blue letters on back of my shirt, not you. Yeah, but he got, he got, he, she was defensive and he got super, super defensive. And I'm like, man, why even pay attention to a little goofy bro, man? I wouldn't have said nothing to, I'd be like, she definitely ain't talking to me. Like, whatever. 
Like, nah, you I'm kicking your ass out. You ain't gonna talk to <laughs> me. You fuck up our minds. You know what I'm mm. talking about? Like, I I'm don't want mad. you using none of my equipment. I'm not mad. You better wipe it down. It seemed like she, she, she I don't know. It just, it just, I didn't like that. It, it rubbed me the she wrong way when she did that. She out of bounds. She was out of bounds. And if it was a dude, if the dude was creepy or, or did something out of pocket, I'd have actually said dude was out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, if y'all know this, I'm no, I'm, I'm in such a great place. I don't have no favoritism. You know what I mean? You just heard I said Kevin Gates was out of pocket. So mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not just riding for the men here. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're right, you're right. I think she was just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? She was just a little bit, um, she was just a little bit out of line, man. She was just a little bit out of line. You know what I mean? Just just a little bit in that in that instance, in those regards. But so, I, I've been at the gym before and I seen trainers. It, it'd be a dude doing a rep and he doing it wrong. Mm-hmm. The trainer come over there and correct the form. Like yeah. Just so he don't get hurt in a gym. I've seen that too. So that's true too. It's like for you just to assume, like I, I don't know, it is what it is. I, I just, I just mm-hmm. thought it was way too much. You, you tried to prove a point. You knew that you knew they was gonna look, and I think you did that for a TikTok video. You know what I'm saying? I, you, I, a lot of that's people, the gram and shit. They, they a, a lot of people seen it, the man. video, and a lot of people was kind of like, "Yo, she, you doing too much." Like, yeah. you did that. You, you. They they're calling her a Jim Karen. That's what they call her. It's like you, a what? You, a Jim, Jim Karen? Karen? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like you trying to do too much. You trying to, you, and then you trying to talk shit to them black dudes. And then if they say something crazy, call the police. You know, you know what happened. Like if I was him, I wouldn't even talk about calling no police, man. Let her little goofy ass do the reps and then cancel her membership on the way out so she can't come in the next time. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> man. <laughs> True. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> but that, that's what I got, man. That's what I got, man. I ain't got nothing else for you, man. <laughs> nothing, man. Just that's I, it, man. That, All right, man. We had this podcast on a special day, man. And this this podcast is brought to you a whole week earlier, man. And <laughs> thank y'all early. for tuning in here, man. <laughs> Hey, you gotta quit. You gotta quit for a little bit more, man. You got a little. You go. You gotta, you gotta, a little bit more, you man. You got a little talking about veil. This you nigga didn't know what he was talking about veil. I told <laughs> nigga, man, you gotta sound like you're crying and shit, man. Because if you ain't crying, man, they ain't gonna believe mine. And I know mine because I did it, man. You know, I try to tell him, nigga. I try to tell him. <laughs> you just got to feel it in your spirit, man. It's in your spirit. Anytime that you just. You get it, your inner channel just comes out, man. It's just natural, man. Natural. Yeah, man. You better push that shit out, man. Push man, that shit out, man. man. I ain't seen Terrence Howard in a minute, man. Where the fuck he at, man? I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know what he doing. I would love to see Terrence Howard at something else, because you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hey, ready. y'all ain't seen this dude on, uh, on Instagram, uh, Batman? Yeah, yeah Batman. I see it. I'm bad, yeah, man. man. He said, no, I'm Batman? <laughs> Bad man, man, you just said the same thing twice, man. You said the same thing twice, man. Bad man. Oh man, bad man. Bad man. Oh, I, I wish I, I wish I knew his name so y'all can follow dude, man. Dude, yeah. right. I see it. I see it. That's I, I know I've seen. I, I, I know the one that you talk about. I don't think I followed him though, so I, I catch him when I'm like uh, scrolling mm. through reels sometimes. I dude. catch this shit, man. Dude, yeah. hilarious, bro. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. no yeah. doubt Shout about out it. To y'all, man. Y'all, yeah. man. make sure y'all remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment to this podcast. That is yes, y'all. Instagram, follow us on Instagram at the MVP underscore podcast. That'll be us. That'll be us. And email us at the man's view podcast at yahoo.com. God damn, that's us. Mm-hmm. And if y'all ain't following us, boy, we just on a couple days ago on Facebook and Twitch at M- yeah. MV Podcast Gaming, getting yeah. dubs on the resurgence yeah, side yeah. of the game, doing hey, it, doing it big. You know what I'm saying? Hey, people, for those who 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 know about your boy, but I I my schedule doesn't align sometimes to where I'm able to play with these, you know, uh, with my boys and shit like that, right? But um, yesterday they was talking blasphemous to me. You know, talk about Cody. They are so disrespectful. And um, one nigga on the podcast, I'm not going to say his name, but it ain't you or me, Cody. 
Um, he was like, yeah, man, we, we was on win street without you, man. We, yeah, we was winning yesterday. We, yeah, I don't know why we can't win with you. I'm like, what? What? Can't win with me. And then we know we got puss ass, ass nigga on here. Uh, <laughs> that nigga was like, yeah, but we can't win with you, man. You, yeah, we, we, we don't win with you. Got that ass. Got another one. Sorry. <laughs> hey, bro. Man, I'm get these hoes. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah, so we was on that one, and then, um, you know, before I got on, they had won a match. You know how many they won with me, Cody? After they told me that dumb shit, we won that very nice game, and we won again. I double their worth. You know what I'm talking about? It looked like y'all niggas two times to win it with me, as opposed to without. You, you know we got on and later I, on that. E- you know we got on later on that evening, right? That's cool. I wasn't available. And we, and we won. We won three times. <laughs> what is it? Hey man, you can say what you want. I don't know them facts. I don't know them facts. I'm gonna start having to look at records. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna start having to look at records. Don't need to now, Cody, Cody, Cody don't we got them two wins within record. an hour. We got them two wins with that. Them niggas might have been on for five hours and got them three. I don't no. know. I only, yeah. only, only played an hour. Yeah, man. Them niggas be trash without me, bro. If we ain't first, we second. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, and if it's up to Adrian, just know that we lost already. It don't matter. You know what I'm talking about? That nigga's so trash, bro. Hey, shout out to yeah, y'all, man, man. We be having y'all. a great time on there, y'all. Yes, sir. Make sure y'all tune in next week. Next week. Next week, people. The LA vlog will be out. That's what we will have for y'all. I'm sorry, everybody listening on um with Google Podcasts and Spotify and all that. Y'all yeah, will be missed next next week. I don't have shit to put in there because if I just play the music and seeing us talking, they, you got to see the shit. Go on YouTube, follow us at the MVP Podcast um, on Man's View Podcast, or whatever. The Man's View with an apostrophe S, y'all. There we go. Apostrophe S. So the Man's View Podcast. You will see us. You know our logo. Obviously, if you're watching, if you're listening to the stream, you know what our logo look like. You're going to see it. All right, yes. just click on that. That's us. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? That's us. Go and make sure when you do that, you subscribe to that as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Definitely. Go check us out over there so you can see that, that vlog. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody was represented pretty well in that thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'm yeah, not going to lie to y'all. Um, your boy Franz was a little out of it here and there. Um, I was a little cloudy. So that's the footage I, I got. When I when I when I was sobered up, you know what I'm saying. But just know, for every every footage that's on this vlog, it was another one that was just a picture that I thought I was right before that. <laughs> Yo, man, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Check out the vlog next week, man. But until then, we gonna highlight y'all. It's been MVP. It's MVP, man. Happy Father's Day, y'all. Pray for me, pray for me, do everything I